Hi, I'm Jerry Looker. I'd like to share a real quick idea with you how you can save a ton of money, probably out of pocket, when you're selling a house. And you can also save a lot of time, a lot of hassle and grief. So, here's a little example that I experienced that illustrates this great. I had a home for sale, and of course the buyers wanted to inspect it, which they did. So after the inspection, we all sat down and they said, you know, we noticed in the back door that there is a big doggy door. And not only do we not have a dog, I mean, that door is big enough for a little burglar to call, crawl through. So uh, in order to, to make this house uh, as we would buy it, you need to replace that door with a solid door. And there was a couple of other things on the inspection a report in that we needed to take care of so we went ahead and we spent the money out of pocket to buy a brand new door and have it installed and a few other things and then uh, sat down with the buyer again and they said well you know uh, nice door and everything appreciate it but you know what after looking everything over and going through the inspection report again and looking at the figures we decided that we're not going to approve this inspection and and walk which they did now, you know, unfortunately for the seller, that happens all the time and that's just standard. So the idea is, you know, what do you do to prevent this? Well, the, the opportunity to do this in a different light presented itself the next time that the home came up for sale. There was a buyer, they did an inspection, and this is a true story, same house, the buyer, older couple, they had a couple little dogs and they sat down with us and they said, you know, Jerry, love the home, but what we need is we need a pet door uh, installed in the back door, you know, and contractor come out and, you know, one of those rubberized flap things or whatever. We need to have one of those installed before the house would be acceptable to us. And I just kind of laughed because, you know, I had just thrown away a nice door with a, a pet door in it, taking it to the dump, put in a brand new solid door. And I kind of looked at him and there was no guarantee that if I cut a hole in the door and installed the doggy door, that there's no guarantee they're going to accept it. Once again, it's entirely subjective. So I went, yeah, I'm not going through this again. So I grabbed the contract and I scratched out the price and I put it in a price that was $300 lower. And I said, there, that's how I'm going to solve this. Turned it around and said, here it is. Initial there, we're fine. I'm giving you $300. Okay, after you buy the house, uh, you can go ahead and do whatever you want to the door. That's plenty of money to buy the little kit and to have somebody put it in. $300 should cover that. And let's go ahead and do it. So it was agreed upon. It was initialed. They'd got their $300 off the top of the house to, to actually pay for it. No money out of my pocket. There was no hassles, there was no time delay uh, waiting for the door to come in or get to, you know, the contractor to install the, the uh, door and uh, the doggy door and then get another appointment and everything else. You know, no, it was done right then, $300 less, you know, his prerogative. The funny thing is, maybe he wouldn't even spend the money to get a doggy door, who knows, but I really didn't care. So that is, is my recommendation is that you know, be prepared a little bit in advance, but when the inspection comes in and they want you to do this, 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 you know, get some estimates, uh, what that it's going to entail, and just say, hey, you know, let's take the money off the contract right now. There's plenty of money to cover all of that. We can go ahead and close this thing and get it done and out of our hair. And on to the next one. So that would be my recommendation. A lot of people know this, but a lot of people don't. So Anyway, there's uh, <clears throat> a ton of good ideas that, you know, I really haven't heard discussed things like this and, and some other ones I'm going to bring up in the near future on, uh, on various things that I think will be of uh, help to people selling houses, buying houses, or whatever. It's stuff you don't hear every day, and a lot of people know this, but a lot of people don't. So if this is interesting to you, uh, you could always visit our blog and, and sign up. We'll make sure we get good content to you on a regular basis, and that's at www mobilehomementor.com yes we do a lot of mobile homes along with real estate too and visit us and we'll send you content and if you'd like to know more about our particular niche which is you know flipping mobile homes in parks that's fine too you can always reach that at www.mobilehomementor.com
mobilehomesmakemoney.com, and those both will be uh, highlighted and available as links in the description here. But anyway, thanks for your time. Jerry Luker, once again, appreciate you being here. Over and out till next time. Bye-bye.